Okay, yesterday I got another panel up. I'm going to go outside in a minute and put up two more. Sue is here. She just got here last night. Uh, we're charging. It's about 9 o'clock. Yep, 9 o'clock right on the nose. We're charging at 32 amps. Uh, using 67. She must be microwaving. Oh, she's got the uh, her coffee pot going. 67, 62 amps on the coffee pot, which I doubt. That's inverter voltage. That's inverter current that's doing that. In reality, it's probably using about 8. Um, and 12.73 amps on DC. So this is the one we got hooked up last night. And it's charging at 5.7 amps with three panels. The other one with three panels is 9.6 amps. So it just depends on how the sun hits it. And plus that was pretty dirty last night. I'll need to get up there and clean that one off. 0.9 amps on the west. 16 amps on the east. And this one doesn't have any panels on it yet. So that's where we're at. Doing okay. That coffee pot used a lot. But I'm sure if it was a 12 volt coffee pot, it'd probably be 8 or 9 amps. Not very much. Okay, coffee's done, so let's see what we're doing. I'm gonna have to get her to get a. 12 volt coffee pot. Okay, 6.5 amps. So we're charging at 36.4. 8.17 up on top. And 10. I need to do some checking. Should be a little bit closer, I would think. Unless it is just because it's dirty. So we have um, <coughs> 6.5 amps on 110 and 2.65 on 12 volt. There's only 2 amps difference between the two. That's probably close. I'll bet it's just because it's really dirty. It was covered with dust and I didn't clean it off. The one that I put up yesterday. Alright. I'm going to get started. Okay, I got out our off-grid washing machine. And Sue started it. Yay, good for Sue. Thanks. Thanks. I didn't do my hair this morning because we're going to work. What'd you say? I said I didn't do my hair this morning because we're going to work. So, it is what it is. I look like hell. So, Medea M-A-E-50-1102-P-S. And you can hear my water pump screaming down there. All right, we're going to go out and put up solar panel. Okay, there's... One panel up there ready to be slid onto the roof. So we're going to go up there and do that now. This is my drywall lift. Works pretty good for panels. We'll be back. Okay, we're getting ready to go up on the roof and get that panel fastened down. I got a box of parts, so hopefully I won't have to need anything. All right, back to work. Okay, we got that panel up and working, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels up there now. And it's hooked up. Let's go see what our amperage is. We have got 72 amps going into the batteries. 
14, we're using 14 amps and 0.7 amps on the DC have the washer running in there so that's why we're using a lot on the AC and that one panel by itself this is a little dusty yeah it's got 6.64 amps on it the two we put up yesterday or one or whatever 14, no, what am I looking at? I'm pressing the button too many times. Okay. 24 amps. And the other one with three is 24 amps. So everything's working right. So far, so good. We'll be back. Okay. Uh, we may be giving up for a little while. I'm just too sore to climb back up there for a little bit. I think we're going to go out of town and do some stuff. Uh, this one has stopped charging. It's at zero amps, which is good. And we have 48 amps going in to the batteries. And I'm just going to watch it here for a little bit while Sue gets ready and we'll head out. We're using 36 amps in the washing machine right now. So let's see how this thing does. We'll be back. Okay, I'm busy sorting out parts, plumbing, miscellaneous, electrical, electrical, electrical. Sue's out taking sun tip pictures. Uh, we got all of this hooked up and working. Everything works. We just need to get compare all the uh, settings to make sure everything's set the same. On the west panel, I'm still showing voltage, but no um, current. So yeah, we're at 12.67 volts which is pretty good. Um, that's all I've got for this one, really. I'm tired. Gosh, it's been a long day. We rode to town and uh, got food, ate too much. You know how that is. And that's about it. Got more plumbing parts here. This is the plastic and the PEX that I'm shorting. Sorting, shorting, putting away. I found a pretty neat junk store. Kind of enjoyable. But I don't want to end up with a lot of junk here. Okay. I'm probably going to get this one published now. Y'all have fun out there. Okay, Sue's cooking coffee, and on our little amp meter, we're using 5.47 amps. And back here, let's turn the light on. It's using 70 amps. So, where our loss is, is in the inverter. That's why I wanted to go 12 volts everything. Because we'd use a lot less current. These batteries, would, we wouldn't even have to have as many batteries as what we've got for solar panels. The wind's blowing pretty good outside. I can hear it bad. Got 15 amps on the ones we finished yesterday. 1.5 amps on the one by itself. Zero amps on, oh there it goes, 15 amps on this one. 17 amps on that one. And 0.9 on the west. So this one's cycling off and on a lot. I've gone through and compared all the settings and stuff and everything's the same, so I need to find out why this one's cycling more than the others. 
which is fine, it's not hurting anything. But we're charging right now at 51 amps. And yesterday I got I saw it get up to about 72 amps total. So everything seems to be working. I just want to check this one out closely. We are going to order two more. Actually, I'm going to order a bunch more because I want spares. So that's where our loss is. A lot of it is in the inverter. I know these uh, uh, freezers, when we first put them in, I tried that meter. And that freezer in there was only running about 3 amps. But back here it's running about 18. 18 to 20. But I think we're going to be going to town today, doing some shopping and stuff. I kind of want to experiment with flooring before we go and then take a piece of it with us. So, I'll be back. Okay, it's the third day on solar panels. Yesterday was too windy to do anything, so we went to town and bought stuff we probably didn't need. Uh, right now we're charging, it's about, what time is it? 8.33 a.m. and we're charging at 20 amps already. The east is at 9.5. The first three upstairs is at 6.46. The west is at zero. The next three or 3.41 and the single by itself is only at 0.32 okay so we're at 21.68 amps using 8 amps on AC and 1.37 on DC we need to turn off the bathroom light go in there and get that done It was a nice break yesterday, not doing anything. Bathroom lights off. And we should be down quite a bit on DC. Yeah, 0.71 amps on DC. So all the security cameras are running now and all the little wall works are drawn a little bit also. So we're using 0.71 amps. Everything's ready to roll on the roof. All I have to do is put the panel up and plug it in. The ladder's going to be interesting this time. So, and then I have to fasten down the conduit. So. Going up there. Y'all have fun. Hi, Sue. Hi. Don't look at me. It's morning. We're all prepped. We got the vertical beam there ready. Ladders are up. Solar panels up. Why don't we dust that off before we take it up? That was interesting. Camera quit. You'll have to say hi again because the Okay, we're trying this a third time. Try it again. Colossal. Okay, don't say it. So Tim has me dusting this panel off before we put it up because God knows there's no dust out here. And it will never get dust on it again. I've never seen any dust out here. No dust. So it's cleaned off now. Not an ounce. Maybe five ounces, but not an ounce. Okay, we're all prepped. We're ready to go. We have all these goofy looking things in our pockets. I still need coffee. And Sue's got her coffee. Dogs are out here making sure the lick is to death when we fall off the roof. And the screen door is open. <sighs> I'm 
windshell and about knocks me off the porch. We're ready to put the panel up. It's right there, all ready to roll. So we're going to get started on it right now. Okay, Sue's up there. Uh, we got the panel ready to be set in place. Have all the little bolts in our pockets and the rest of the tools are up there. So I should only have to make one trip up, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, we got that one up and all tightened down. I got one bolt up there that I'm going to replace because I don't like the way it looks. So, we're going back up again. Just have to tighten stuff down and plug it in and uh, we'll be done with it. Okay, everything's up here. We got all eight panels. We have room for six more. Don't know if we'll be doing that or not, but we do have room. Um, don't do it like this though. This is really the hard way. Buy that uh, regular solar panel mounting stuff. I think it'd probably be cheaper. So I'm gonna climb down, check out the view, check out Sheldon. There's what's her name and baby. But they're all up. All I have to do is plug them in. I'm gonna go in and check the current first and then I'll have uh, Sue plug them in and we'll check the current again. Be back. Okay, we're charging at 55, 56 amps. And this one, the one that we're working on is at 5.12 amps. There's a lot of drop. There's just one 10 gauge wire going across to that one. This one's cycling already. We're at 13.56 volts. Okay, so we're going to go up and plug that in real quick. We check it again. 5.26 amps. Okay, the top two are plugged in. 59 amps charging at. Looks like everything's working right now. I saw it up to 70 uh, when the sun's all the way up. And at 7.15 amps. This one is at zero because it's flashing off and on. This one's at 16 amps. That one's at 1.2 amps. And this one's at 17 amps. So 60 amps right at the moment is what we're charging at. We're going to order a couple of extra just to keep on hand in case there's an issue. And Sue's yelling at the dogs. The dog is out chasing a cow with big he was, ass horns. He was chasing a cow? Well, the cow's not moving, so the cow's going to take the dog and. <laughs> but he found a cow, huh? Where's he at? I just locked him in the backyard. Oh, good so place for him. Hurt. Good place for him. He's an idiot. Yeah, he is. All right, we're going to uh, fasten down the conduit now and be done with it. That will be it for up there. Y'all have fun.